so as the riders make their final preparations in the waiting zone. Let's have a look at the starting grid for the SM90 Mini GP machines. Arnie Carr was the fastest rider this morning with a 47.66. What a jump from him to second place. Daniel Stevenson, 48.39. Luca Wilkinson qualified in third from Jack Newton. Hudson Cooper in fifth. Brooke Champion rounding out the top six. Billy Carter with a 55.41 seventh from Finley Hanna. Owen Tempest in ninth. Charlie Ward and just under one minute lap time for Callum Maxwell on the 111 machine rounding out the rest of the field. And actually Callum Maxwell with the, uh, the novice bib on at the back of the field. So uh, a newcomer to the class. And he'll be looking to get round, stay out of trouble, and get some vital race experience. And this, of course, nervous moments for the competitors in the waiting zone. Machines all fired up. Quite pleasant for the people in the paddock spectating on this one, but certainly could be tough for the riders, who are now lining up on the start grid now for race number one, Junior Supermoto 90, Mini GP 90, race number one, about to get underway. Riders on the start line, as we saw a few moments ago, the start straight here from the grid to the first corner. It's quite a short run up into that first corner, so a good getaway off the grid is vitally important because it would be very easy for somebody further down to jump ahead into that first chicane. Sharp dog leg to the right after this uh, start area. But there's one rider just in a bit of trouble on the start line there. The uh, pickup marshal is just moving to one side and. Uh, in order just to be to the centre of the track. I think the riders are ready. The green flag goes up and round number two of the Rich Energy British Minibike Series gets underway. Daniel Stevenson gets away well as they go into the first corner. And everyone through nice and gently through that first corner. Staying out of trouble. And away they go. There's Callum Maxwell. We just saw him a few moments ago at the back as Daniel Stevenson gets the jump on the field from Luca Wilkinson. And Brook champion Billy Carter in there as well. Stevenson get away from him. Ready starts to pull away. But Brook champion getting away well also. And there's the number 83 machine just in there as well. So Daniel Stevenson, number 11, your race leader as they make their way down towards the final corner for that first time and you can see quite a long straight into the final corner this long sweeping right hander that takes us back towards the finish line so Daniel Stevenson goes through Arnie Carr is second on the track although for some reason not picking up on the transponders at the moment he's showing towards the back of the field it's uh, Luca Wilkinson Brook champion Billy Carter in there as well as the 83 of Arnie Carr really putting Stevenson under pressure as they make their way towards the top of the track. The things start to speed up now down the back straight as Carr has a look. But Daniel Stevenson's got this one into the corner, but no, Al, down the inside, Arnie Carr. Great little move there into that long sweeping corner. And Arnie Carr, fastest qualifier earlier on, is back into the lead. Down the straight towards the finish line once again into the long right-hander. And Arnie Carr's got that line covered. Stevenson just behind in second place. Goes for the wider exit. Tries to get the speed into the chicane. But at the moment, Arnie Carr, 83 fastest lap of the race, 47.77. Further back, Luca Wilkinson from the 464 of Rook Champion. Jack Newton on the move, incidentally. The 135, which you'll see moving up fourth, would be fifth in the race itself because Arnie Carr for some reason showing us a lap down at the moment but as you can see for yourself leading the race and guarding that inside line you can see now that Daniel Stevenson on the number 11 really trying to find an opening but at the moment Carr riding defensively pulls out a small gap into the back corner this final corner the long right hander towards the finish line but Arnie Carr's got a nice sweep out of the corner Daniel Wilkinson just behind in second place nine laps to go there we see that looks very much like Luca Wilkinson and a bit of action further down the field as they make their way in towards the final corner. This is some of the, uh, the midfield runners making their way through now. Jack Newton still on the move, moving up to fourth place. Brook champion Hudson Cooper, Billy Carter in there as well. There's the 85 actually of Billy Carter, 217. Fluorescent yellow and black machine there, that is Hudson Cooper close midfield battle at the moment as he makes his way through the hairpin. This is one of the more technical parts of the track. It all gets very quick from here. 
towards the top of the circuit bay. This is the furthest away from the start where we are now. And the 217 Hudson Cooper chasing Brook Champion down the back straight into the long, sweeping S style of corners. It just goes right, left, right, real sweeper through here. Good line choice, very important for the riders as well as they get chucked back onto the straight in towards the final corner. Still Arnie Carr leading from Daniel Stevenson. And this battle, Jack Newton, Brook Champion and Hudson Cooper charging away just behind. Should be the 85 of Billy Carty. Yes, it is just going through the shot now into the first corner. Owen Tempest a little bit further behind coming through now. Here is Owen Tempest on the 63, closely followed by Finley Hanna. Callum Maxwell, one of the newcomers, currently in 10th place from Charlie Ward. Rounding up the field, and this is the two leaders coming through now. And it's getting close because look at number 11, Daniel Stevenson. Starting now to put a bit of pressure on the race leader, Arnie Carr. Of course, they are racing in two different race categories, but uh, out on track, battling for the lead. And Carr bravely taking the outside sweep into the top corner. Stevenson started to put the pressure on now. This what sometimes this does happen in a race where the leader takes the lead early on. That second place rider just using the advantage to have a look at where they're the lines they're using and where they can perhaps uh, get a bit more speed around the track. It does seem to be happening at the moment because Arnie Carr got into the lead early on but hasn't really pulled away. Look quick on the first lap, but Daniel Stevenson, the number eleven. Early race leader in second place is sticking with the leader at the moment. So it looks like Stevenson certainly running well in that second place. Riding smart as well, just looking at the lines that Arnie Card is using at the moment. And they are starting to close up on some of the tail enders. I'm sure that may be Charlie Ward in front possibly, but 83. Arnie Carr, very distinctive looking machine there, still leading the way, one of the, uh, the new Ovali machines. Daniel Stevenson riding the more conventional pit bike machine in second place around the final corner. Threading their way through some of the slower traffic. And I think just, oh, just uh, sandwiching the leaders there for number 63. Currently in eighth place, Owen Tempest. But, uh, of course, Tempest knows the leaders are coming through. Moved to one side at the top of the circuit. Gave the racing line away to Stevenson. And Daniel Stevenson in second place. Just losing a little bit of time in pursuit of the race leader. There he is, Stevenson. Arnie Carr. Still in front, but Stevenson. Showing his leader on here at the moment, though, in the uh, junior supermoto. Looking strong as the two leaders making their way towards the final corner to complete another lap. So Arnie Carr goes through. I think maybe uh, Billy Carter in front. And Stevenson on the number 11 looking strong. And Stevenson makes his way up towards the top of the circuit through the hairpin. One of the slower parts of the track there we see just in front is the 85 of Billy Carter going a lap down. Around the back of the circuit they go, and Stevenson just taking his time out of the corner, not making any mistakes, and picking his way past the 85 of Carter, still showing in sixth place. A little bit further down, Owen Tempest in eighth place, Finley Hanna in ninth. Charlie Ward just crossing the line now from Callum Maxwell, 10 and 11. We are about to be lapped by the race leaders. Things start to draw towards the closing few laps. Arnie Carr making his way through, Daniel Stevenson. Just crossing the line, three laps to go in this first race of the afternoon. And at the moment, fastest lap of the race is that 47.67 for Armani Carr. Lap times are dropping though slightly as the race goes on. There we see the 111 of Callum Maxwell. The novice view indicating it's a, a rookie rider. So this is just to indicate to some of the more experienced riders that it is a new rider. Perhaps just to be a little bit, a little bit courteous when they go through. Make sure they uh, don't crowd the slower rider. But he's getting around there, all right. Actually, he's uh, fastest lap time actually for Callum Maxwell. Just getting under the one-minute mark of 59.29. So uh, 
good day so far for him, although he is at the back of the field. He's still nonetheless getting around there and putting some decent lap times in. The 2-1-7 of Hudson Cooper about to be lapped by Daniel Stevenson Cooper, currently in fifth place there. We see right at the front of the field Arnie Carr. Just ahead of the number 11 of Daniel Stevenson, Wilkinson also in there as well. And they are well and truly amongst some of the slower riders there. We see still in fifth place is the 2 7 of Hudson Cooper. And right behind him, about to lap him, is the number 11 of Daniel Stevenson. And Stevenson, not doing anything silly there, just taking his time tracking the rear wheel of Hudson Cooper, getting a better drive down the back straight and laps the slower rider as he goes into the final corner. Hudson Cooper, though, still running strong in that fifth place, Luca Wilkinson and Jack Newton running strongly as you head towards the last lap of the race. Back with Hudson Cooper, one lap down, but currently in fifth place there we see Arnie Carr. And for whatever reason, showing a little bit further down on the lap scores. He did seem to get away with the leaders though, so uh, Arnie Carr showing us fourth on our timing screens, but ahead of the leader Daniel Stevenson and Arnie Carr withholding a lot of pressure from Daniel Stevenson earlier in the race but he's doing very well and pulls away as we head towards the final corner Arnie Carr goes round the last corner and punches the air as he takes the chequered flag winner of race number one is the 83 of Arnie Carr bring up a good fight but couldn't quite bring it home Daniel Stevenson second on the track as uh, one lap down goes the machine of Hudson Cooper, Brook Champion, sixth. We're a good start for the number 11 and the 83. Arnie Carr, of course, the uh, rider who crossed the line in first. Came under a lot of pressure from Stevenson. Luca Wilkinson should be coming through any moment now. The two leaders really pulling away from the rest of the field uh, as Callum Maxwell goes through to finish his race in 11th from Charlie Ward. Owen oh, Tempest in 8th place, Finley Hanna in ninth, and the last two riders on the lead lap should be coming through in a moment to round up the rest of the field. Jack Newton, the last rider home on the track, finishing in 4th place on the 135. There's Arnie Carr, Daniel Stevenson, Luca Wilkinson, 4th place for the 135 of Jack Newton. Hudson Cooper in 5th, Brooke Champion, Billy Carter 7th, Owen oh, Tempest in 8th, Finley Hanna 9th, Charlie Ward and Callum Maxwell rounding up the field for race number one.